meeting your significant other through work is a pretty common scenario. Back to the Future star Leah Thompson's personal life, however, has a bit of a twist. She came very close to not working with her future husband, director Howard Deutsch, on the 1987 cult favorite, Some Kind of Wonderful. In today's video, we're looking back at their life, their love, and the hardships Leah faced as a mother in Hollywood. Leah Thompson grew up in a big family with two brothers and two sisters. But uh, I came from artists, yeah. so I kind of always wanted to be a dancer, and I didn't really want to be an actress until I was like 20. Okay. Always dreaming of becoming a ballerina and being a skilled dancer, she got a scholarship at the American Ballet Theater. Sadly, her dancing dreams never came true. Once, her teacher told her, You're a lovely dancer, but you're too stocky. Ah, harsh. And just like that, Leah decided to quit her dancing career and become an actor. At the very beginning, she had some parts in various commercials and movies, including Red Dawn and The Wildlife. In 1984, she was cast to play iconic Lorraine Baines McFly in the legendary franchise Back to the Future, and got her breakthrough. Oh boy. Now, you, my life has been way <laughs> too fabulous. Oh God. Howard Deutsch started his career with music videos. He was born to music executive Murray Deutsch, best known for propelling Jane Morgan, Harry Belafonte, and Buddy Holly to stardom. With the influence and skills Murray had, it was only fitting that he passed down some of his creative genes to Howard, who has in turn applied it in his decades-long career. He worked with a number of artists, including Billy Joel and Billy Idol. Soon, he became one of the industry's most respected commercial directors. Deutsch made his big screen directing debut in 1986 with the movie Pretty in Pink, starring up and coming actors like Molly Ringwald, James Spader, Andrew McCarthy, and John Cryer. The movie was a huge success. Even 36 years later, it's believed to have been a defining point for teen romantic comedy drama. It was also a precursor to the film that would change the director's life forever. In 1987, he directed another coming-of-age romance drama, Some Kind of Wonderful, starring Mary Stuart Masterson, Eric Stoltz, and Leah Thompson. Although this film wasn't an immediate success like Pretty in Pink, it's since become a cult favorite. For the prolific director, though, it was much more than that. Though Howard cast Thompson in the film because of her acting skills, his crush on her might have also influenced his decision. Of course, how sexy Leah is was part of why I wanted her in the movie, he continued. I had a crush on her that all of my friends teased me about. But there's also something grounded and relatable about her on screen, Howard said in an interview with Salon. Thompson's casting changed the course of the beloved 80s classic, he revealed. Deutsch would later describe it as one of the best decisions he ever made. According to him, Leah had a lot to do with how the movie turned out. She had a lot to do, as far as I'm concerned, with the tone changing of that movie, as well as some of the other casting. Here comes a twist. Leah Thompson almost wasn't in the iconic 80s teen romance. As Deutsch later explained in a bonus feature included in a Blu-ray set of John Hughes films, she initially turned down working on the film. It took a box office bomb for the actor to join the project. Howard revealed that she finally accepted his offer because of another Howard. 1986's Howard the Duck. Ah, uh, well, I was young, I was foolish, what can I say? He explained that she decided to star in the movie following the lackluster reception of her previous feature, which was panned by critics and only holds a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. Thompson has spoken about the flop to The Hollywood Reporter in 2016, saying, It was painful. I had to get on another movie. I wouldn't have done some kind of wonderful if Howard wasn't such a bomb. It's for grown-ups, this film, you know, don't, you don't need to watch that, you we weren't supposed to see that, and so at school when people would ask me what my mom does for a living, I would say, I would say she's an actress mm -hmm. in adult films. While the abysmal premiere of Howard the Duck seemed catastrophic at the time, things worked out for the best. Aside from meeting her husband, Leah also starred in a movie that would go on to become a classic. Things that seemed bad had turned out to be good in the end, she said. No, I mean, dude, I'm a fan. Yeah, it's some kind of wonderful. That, is that how your parents met? It is, it is. That, yeah, it is. But I, for some reason, they claim that they had their first kiss and after they did the movie at the premiere, and I don't buy it for a second. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, of course. The Back to the Future actor spoke about the making of the film to the AV Club in 2012, saying that it affected her life a lot. The opening of Some Kind of Wonderful is just so exquisite. The way my husband put together that whole montage that sets up the whole story, it's just so beautifully done. She added, I'm amazed at how many people love it. 
I'm also amazed at how many men really like it. Despite Howard's crush, the pair did not begin a relationship during the film's production. At the time, Leah was engaged to one of her former co-stars, Dennis Quaid. I was still with him, so I kinda had to get out of that before. But it was a crazy time. Their five-year relationship lasted from 1982 until 1987, starting when Thompson was 21 and Quaid was 28. When the engagement ended, she began dating Howard, 11 years her senior, whom she found to be an exotic, complicated man. I really loved the way he thought, and he really made me laugh. And so when the movie came out and I broke up with my boyfriend at the time, you know, he asked me out and we started kind of dating in the publicity tour of Some Kind of Wonderful. By 1989, Leah and Howard were inseparable. In the summer of that year, the couple tied the knot and have since enjoyed a blissful marriage. Soon after the nuptials, the celebrity couple started a family. They welcomed their first daughter, Madeline, in 1991 with their second, Zoe, coming three years later in 1994. In 2019, Thompson spoke about how motherhood changed her career when she appeared on Justin Long's Life is Short podcast. I did 900 movies in a row, but what happens is it all screeches to a halt when you have a baby, Thompson said. After Justin asked if that was a scientific fact, the actor said that they should do the research. Leah added that Meryl Streep was the only actor she could think of that remained a successful movie star after giving birth. You can adopt a baby, she said before listing Charlize Theron and Sandra Bullock as actors that have continued successful film careers after adopting children. Once you actually create a placenta, you can't be a movie star anymore, Thompson continued. Does your face change that much, or what happens? The actor claimed that she never had a starring role in a movie after giving birth to her daughters. I did the Beverly Hillbillies, Thompson revealed. After that, I have never done a big feature. I uh, turned 30 and had a baby. And since then, this is an amazing thing, I have done exactly one scene in a big budget feature. She added that luckily there's TV, where she found success as the titular character on Caroline in the City from 1995 to 1999, which was directed by her husband. Long then asked if Thompson enjoyed balancing life as a mother with starring in Caroline. Though she was grateful for the opportunity, Leah acknowledged the challenges that come with being a part of a television series. I found sitcoms to be very, very traumatically hard, she said about filming in front of a live audience. Not so much so as some other actresses I've heard of that threw up every time. Just the process of doing a live play every week with the pressure of telling the jokes like boom, 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 and not being able to screw up because if you screw up, they get really mad at you. Leah went on to perform on Broadway and star in Hallmark movies and the Freeform show Switched at Birth. At the same time, Howard's directorial credits include TV shows like Melrose Place, Ringer, CSI New York, American Horror Story, Jane the Virgin, and Young Sheldon. And clearly it's a family affair. Their daughters followed in their footsteps, with Madeline writing, directing, acting, and making music and Zoe starring in The Politician, Dirty Grandpa, Zombieland Double Tap, The Outfit, and the upcoming movie Not Okay. The whole family even collaborated on a film. Madeline wrote The Year of Spectacular Men. Her mother directed it, her father produced, and both she and her sister starred in it. Leah has always been the artist in this family, Howard said. Our kids got that from her, just as she did from her parents and how they valued creativity in her gift. Who has the best sense of style? Ooh, that's oh, that's wow. Turn them. <gasps> I you said, pick me? You pick me? That's so nice. No one picked me? <laughs> <laughs> On her daughters following in her footsteps, Leah told Parade, I think that in a lot of ways, we just feel as if they're going into the family business. And that is lovely. It's kind of sickening sometimes at the dinner table because all we talk about is work. But I have a wonderful, collaborative relationship with both of my daughters. Being together for more than three decades, Leah Thompson and Howard Deutsch seem to be as happy as when they met. With two kids and a number of projects together, they're still going strong and have that sparkle between them. That's all we have for you today, Juicers. As always, thanks for choosing us. Spread the word and don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell for more celebrity love stories. Be well and be kind.